So unlike conventional conservation, it wasn't target driven, no goals, no particular species to save. It was all about how could you get natural processes to happen again and increase biodiversity broadly across, across the spectrum. And if we could do that just a little bit, we thought this would be an experiment worth trying. One of the things that, for me, um, became so important and always has been really important is actually doing and seeing and, and actually feeling, feeling. feeling and smelling and hearing um, stuff to actually then understand it. How can you study nature in a classroom? You know, we, we have to expose ourselves to, to, we have to learn directly from the teacher itself, which is nature. I'm from London, city, like a dweller, my whole life. I've never been anywhere like this. I was never really exposed to nature, so I never even considered an environmental career. I held an animal for the first time <laughs> the other day. I got to release a juvenile nightingale. If this place existed when I was young and I got to come here, I'd leave so inspired. My name is Arisha. I studied um, biochemistry at undergrad at Essex. I did a Master in Environmental Management for Business at Cranfield university and I'm about to start my PhD in environmental science. I remember deadly, deadly biology lessons in a lab at school and it never made any sense to me and now of course it's all beginning to slot into place and I'm thinking why didn't I pay more attention? But it's because you can't feel the relevance of it. So the more we can get people actually um, looking at nature and saying that textbook is wrong because I've seen it with my own eyes. It doesn't correlate, you know. And the wonderful thing about Opal, I think, is that um, the experience that young students are having here at NEP, they will hopefully be fired up and charged and full of genuine ground truth information. And they will go back and rewild their teachers and institutions. I'm Josh, I'm studying a Masters in Wildlife Conservation Management at USW and I'm here with Otwell for two weeks at NEP. I was hoping to, to witness a different side of UK nature. I was excited to see the work that had been done at NEP and that had been spoken about and just see um, how by letting things follow natural patterns new species would return. And yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to be surrounded by like-minded people with with lots of interests. There's opportunities that come from that, and you find out about really interesting projects that you you didn't know about. Also, being surrounded by passionate people, um, interested in things that you were also interested in, um, yeah, it gives you a bit of a, a kick and a, a spark. I think what NEP can do and Opwell at NEP can give us is, is you know, the, the beginnings of the foundations to the real excitement that one might get and gather from, from actually immersing oneself in our own nature. And, and seeing, seeing NEP, I guess, is a, you know, it's an unusual environment, it's an unusual place and it's, it looks very different. It looks like a little bit of Africa has been plonked down in, in the middle of Europe. So I, 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 you know, I, I would have thought it's a good place to to see if you get excited by our own ecology, our own animals, our own species.
As rewilding gets a foothold and we're seeing this amazing momentum behind rewilding in the UK now and internationally, we're learning all sorts about the wildlife that's recovering in these areas that were intensively farmed or, you know, brownfield sites in the past. So students have got this amazing opportunity to see things from, you know, from the very beginning and to see how wildlife can recover. They're learning about, you know, the purple emperors, the nightingales, the turtle doves, what's thriving here as a result of the rewilding project. And I think as we're seeing more rewilding come up across the UK, it's a really important skill to see how habitats can regenerate, how they can recover and what wildlife comes back with them as well. Because I think there's going to be a lot of jobs in conservation careers in rewilding going forward. I love the fact that uh, these conservationists of the future here learning about relevant survey techniques that will help them in their conservation careers but was also massively helpful to us so we've got loads of baseline surveys that we did in the year 2000 we're repeating them annually in every five years and they're helping to do them they're helping us with our bird surveys our butterfly transects they're out doing uk hab mapping and they're going to be doing loads of other surveys like botanical transects and so on so this is all feeding back into our big bobbling pot of data uh, and our report writing and they're a massive part of helping with that and i just think that's brilliant and you know bring it on love it it's really incredible to be able to witness you know the impact of people on the environment given that we've done so much damage to it ourselves NEP is like a treasure box and sharing it with really happy amazing knowledgeable people just makes you appreciate it so much more that knowledge of hope that nature can rebound given half a chance and then understanding how depleted the landscapes are that perhaps you never questioned before is a really important lesson.